All right, let's go. Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm up right with Chris. What's up Chris? And uh, we're going through 10 different butter tricks. Uh, we're gonna progress from the easiest butter tricks all the way up and through to some hard ones. And along the way, giving you guys some tips and also some different ways that you can, you know, do the butters in different ways or progress with them in different styles. So that's what we're doing today. Wow, this video sounds awesome. <laughs> Just throwing some out there. Let's throw some out there. Nose butter, tail butter. Butter 180s. Penguin walk. Nose roll. A cab 360 nose roll. Butter spin. Butter bagel. Butter pretzel. What are we on? Is that 10? Tripod. 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 Tripod hand clap. Tripod push up to behind the hand, behind the back hand clap. Can't even do that without my snowboard on. I think that's it. All right, let's go do some. Okay, straight into it. What's on the menu today, Kevin? So first on the menu is the tail press. For the tail press, you're just moving your hips over top of the tail of your board. All right, tail press time. All right, that's it. Let's get into the press. So while you're practicing the tail press, you can start practicing the nose press as well. Same thing, moving your hips over top of your nose. The nose press might be a little bit harder the nose of your board might be a bit stiffer. I can kind of actually even move my weight a bit from left to right. Oh yeah! Nice. A flexible board helps. Weights over my nose. Nose, tail, nose, tail, nose, tail. You can take it to the next set by doing the penguin walk. The penguin walk is when you're alternating from your nose to your tail, running uphill, digging your towage into the snow as you go. Hey Kevin, give me that money you owe me. Get out of here. Come back. He's gone. Nice. <laughs> Once you get some nose and tail presses going, just uh, flat in the snow. Next, you can take it to the run, riding straight and getting into that press. To help you do those presses as you ride, think about you know really bending the leg that you're pressing into, and you can also reach your hand down towards the snow just to help get your weight over your nose and tail. Right, let's watch Chris do some presses. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I think when you're doing the press, it's almost like you need to find out where the fall line is, where the run's going, because I think the run is like taking you down and to the left. Kevin, you're on the wrong side. This side. See you, Daddy. Up next, we can try the butter nose roll. And so it's, you know, getting into a nose press combined with a little 180 action to get the tail of your board coming around. Let's give it a try. All right, Chris is gonna tr try a couple nose rolls.
Something we noticed with the nose rolls is they're actually a lot easier to do when you're riding switch. And I think that's because the tail of your board is actually, you know, typically softer than the nose. So by riding switch, now you got the soft part of your board in front. This next run, we're gonna go for some butter 180s and also go for the tripod. 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 The secret for the butter 180s is first getting into the press and then turning your shoulders in the direction you want a 180 and then getting a little pop off your tail and then twisting your legs underneath you. So it's just a turn and then a twist. If you're doing the butter 180s, it's always good to have lots of space, so like having a nice clear area of the run to practice on. So coming up, it's a good clear area, and yeah, just like a place to get some speed going too. comfortable doing the back backside one right I think if you start the first one by going onto your tail first and then doing the 180 it sets it up set the base with like a, a tail press and then hop to the, your new tail hop to your new tail yeah. what a good teacher <laughs> It's really good, that guy. Woo. A really fun way to progress with the Butter 180s is to find like a roller or a ledge to do them off, and then you just get a bit more air time on that last 180. Timing is the key when you're doing them off a roller, so you're just getting your like little launch off of the lip of the roller or off the takeoff. Didn't get it. Timing was off. Let's try again. That was better. So yeah, the key for getting it off the roll is on the timing. Uh, the first time, I kind of was too late to get the pop off the roll. Yep. And the second time, I did it much earlier. So I had uh, lots of time coming into it. Good job. Yeah, Chris, how does Butter 180s go last time? After your input? Yeah. They're a lot better. Nice, man. They look good. Good teacher. <laughs> What's up next? Tripo um, oh, I gotta get the tripods going. Ba bagel and pretzel. Bagel, pretzel, tripod. Okay, so for the tripod, <laughs> you're taking your two hands and you're putting them down in the snow behind your tail. Once you got your hands in the snow, you push your tail away from you so you can extend your body right out. And then when your board's up in the air, it's kind of hard to keep it straight. So you really got to activate your core muscles to keep your board straight up into the air. There's a lot of hand movement. <laughs> got to keep your board straight up in the air. Oh, The problem with the tripod is all the snow you get in your gloves. Yeah, a real key for the tripod is moving your whole body out past your board onto the snow. That's going to let you extend your board, get it straight up into the air, just having all your weight out into the snow. That angle on your first one was all wacky. Uh, yeah, when you're doing the tripod, you gotta make sure you got a nice level slope. When I was coming down there, uh, I was kind of fighting an angle, so I just kept flopping Because you over. went into it sideways. I went into it sideways. You didn't, go, you didn't go down the fall line. All right, we'll find a nice level fall line coming up. You wanna do some bagels and pretzels? Sure. So that was the bagel. So for the pretzel, when you hop into it, you stay wound and then you, you go back. Okay, you don't unwind yourself. You no. just stay wound. 
You stay wound and then you twist. Okay. On the tail? On the nose. On the nose? Yeah. There's a bagel on the tail. Bagel's on the tail, pretzel's on the nose. Okay. How those pretzels feel? Oh, good. Yeah, so see more popping it. Yeah, the pop off the nose just helps to give you time to twist it out, hey? Yeah, I think, and it makes it look more stylish. A quick way to remember uh, the difference between bagel and pretzel is the bagel, you hop into a tail press sideways and then you continue to turn a 270 in the same direction. With the pretzel, you get it twisted. So you hop onto your nose in a press sideways and then you go back the opposite way, 270. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, Chris! Woo. That was like a fun little butter side bank spin. Yeah, how's your trick stuff? Hey boys. <laughs> We're gonna bring that guy a coffee someday. Bring him a treat. Yeah. Yeah, Chris, what was that um, little spinny thing you did on the bank? It's a it's a nose front side three with a 180 out. You guys wanna know how you do it? Yeah, how do you do it? <laughs> okay, so you come in, you ride at the bank like you would normally. And yeah. then instead of doing a little jump turn at the top, then you throw all the weight on your nose and bring your shoulders around into the spin. So shoulders going down the hill. Oh, you do it down the hill? Yeah. Yeah, it looked really fun. Yeah, this lap, I gotta get the tripod going. I just gotta do it with more speed and on a nice, consistent uh, hill. A couple butter tricks so we can do the next run. Uh, the first is just the butter spin, riding in, getting onto your nose or tail, and then spinning your board around. And also just thinking about as you spin, having more weight on that uphill edge so you don't catch it and go flying backwards. And Kevin, which way do you like to do your spins? I like to do my spins front side, but also I like to ride into them switch. Front side spinning on? On my nose. On the nose of your switch front side. Yeah. And then another butter trick that's kind of like a step up from that is, I guess it's like the cab three or the kind of like butter into it. So like a butter nose roll cab three. And a good place to do that is off some knuckles in the park. And the key with that trick is just committing. Before doing the butter spins on the slope, you can just do them on the flat ground, working on getting into that press and really winding it up and rotating into it. Like so. dizzy after that spin. I'm really dizzy. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, yeah, the key to the spin is just like getting that wind up, rotating into it, and then also making sure that you always have your downhill uh, edge always up out of the snow. Let me go for a spin. Chris is gonna go for a spin. Nice, looks good with the dice. Makes you dizzy. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, butter time, butter time, butter time.
piggy bet on your butter spins. With butter spins, I've been doing mine wrong the whole time, I think. Really? So I was doing them um, on my nose, coming in regular, and it was okay. But then trying three times there, doing switch, it was way easier. Awesome. I felt like I was getting more extension. I was taught a lie. <laughs> But yeah, and then you, you're like taking the spins to the next level, doing them on the, uh, the side banks. That's yeah, awesome. so that's actually opposite. I like doing those front side regular on my nose. Mm -hmm. That's kind of weird. That is weird. I think the lesson there is try them different ways and then see which one you feel more comfortable doing and, and practice that one. Yeah. Cool guys, so I hope this video gives you guys some ideas for doing butter tricks. For more details on these tricks, I'll put a link to the butter trick playlist. And on there, there's uh, more videos on all these tricks that's more in depth and with more detail. So thanks Chris for doing some butter tricks with us today. We'll see you guys in the next video.